It's time for Donkey of the Day. Donkeys of the Day, ask Charlemagne. I'm a Democrat, so being Donkey of the Day is a little bit of a mixed question. So like a donkey. Yeehaw. Okay. Donkey of the Day. <laughs> the Breakfast Club, bitches. Now, I've been called a lot in my 23 years that Donkey of the Day is a new one. Yeah, it's Donkey of the Day for Monday, April 17th. Goes to a man named Steve Stevens now. Cleveland police are looking for Steve Stevens because he killed an elderly man and posted a vi posted the video on Facebook. Uh, God bless that 78-year-old man, Robert Goodwin Sr., who had to go out like this at the hands of this coward, Steve Stevens. Now, mm -hmm. why did Steve Stevens murder Robert Goodwin Sr. on Facebook? Well, let's go to CNN for the report. Active manhunt underway at this hour for a suspect authorities say made a video of himself killing an elderly man, then posted it on Facebook. The FBI helping Cleveland police in the search for Steve Stevens, six foot one, 244 pounds. You can see him here, last seen driving a late model white Ford Fusion with temporary plates. Officials say Stevens is armed and dangerous. His mother, Maggie Green, tells CNN she spoke to her son Sunday and that he said he was shooting people because he was, quote, mad with his girlfriend. Authorities say hundreds of leads have poured in. They are urging Stevens to surrender. Officials say Stevens did not know the victim. 74-year-old Robert Godwin just picked him at random. Godwin's children say they are devastated. He's a good guy. He's good -hearted. a, I mean, He's a very good-hearted. He the shirt off his back. I mean, and I don't. I'm not just saying that for these cameras. And I just hate. I'm. I, I mm -hmm. hate these dorms. You know what I mean? I don't know what I'm gonna do. It it's, feel like it's not real. Feel like my heart. is gonna stop. It Jesus, feel like you'll be all right. It feel like it's gonna stop. Jesus Christ, Steve so Stevens. Sad. Steve Stevens decided to go on a killing spree because he was mad at his girlfriend. His girlfriend didn't want him anymore. Steve Stevens explained it more on Facebook Live. Let's hear it. The love of my life works. Her name is Troy Lang. We've been together three years. Uh, we're supposed to get married, but it was just some, some bullshit that I just couldn't deal with, with her anymore. But anyway, um, she's the reason why I'm making this video. She's the reason why what's about to happen today. Because she f***ing drove me crazy. And now I'm just on some murder type shit. So, and it's f***ed up too because, you know, I've never really been on no sucky shit like this. This is some sucky shit. Uh, hopefully, I'm going to try to kill as many people as I can, be on death row or whatever the case may be. We all human, man, you know, and uh, I guess we all got breaking points. I went to my mother yesterday because I was trying to get some, you know, talk to my mother, but I guess it's the way I was raised. She didn't even give a f***, man. I was telling my mother I was on some home suicidal type shit. I'm about to kill some people. Didn't care. The event that's about to happen within the next few minutes, you can blame it on her name is Joy Lang. It's all her fault. My mother, too. This is her fault, too, because she didn't want to create this monster that I am. Blame everybody but himself. Steven, after yesterday's actions, I totally understand why Joy didn't want you. She made the right decision by not wanting to be with you. In fact, I applaud Joy Lane for having the foresight to get out of that relationship with you. That young lady seems to have dodged the bullet, literally. Okay, what happened to when your woman doesn't want to be with you anymore? You just glow up, become successful, and make her jealous. What makes you think killing someone is going to make Joy say, you know, maybe I should reconsider being with Steve because he out here killing people. Furthermore, not Joy, not your mother, no one mm -hmm. is responsible for your behavior but you. Okay, I talk a lot about the power of choices. That's all life is, a series of decisions. Okay, destiny is not a matter of chance, it's a matter of choice. So, Stephen, Joy Lane, or your mom didn't choose to pick a random man and gun him down in the street. You did. Now you have to live with the consequences of your actions. Now, one of the many things that disturbs me about this situation is Steven said he was reaching out to people, asking for help, and he was getting dismissed. This is one of the reasons I stop and give everyone an ear if they need it. it. It happens all the time. People reach out and they just want to talk. Sometimes it's family. Sometimes it's friends. Sometimes it's random people on the street. But I just feel like you have to stop and take the time to listen. I understand we are all going through things in life. We all have problems. We all have issues. But sometimes our problems pale in comparison to someone else's. And you may not have the answers for yourself, but it's possible you have the answer for someone else okay just don't dismiss people because you just never know what somebody is really going through and for people like steven who feel like they are at their breaking point don't stop talking until someone listens okay go to a random church and talk to a pastor go check yourself in a psych ward go talk go check a local psychiatrist i just just don't stop wanting to talk until someone listens because steve steven, steve stevens you didn't make anything better okay whatever you were dealing with you could have got through, but now you have made poor choices that will haunt the family of Robert Goodwin Sr. forever and will haunt you forever because if you don't end up dead somewhere, you're going to jail. 
So what is the lesson to be learned from this situation? Don't make a permanent choice over temporary feelings. Please give Steve Stevens the biggest hee haw, please. Uh, and by the way, Steve uh, Stevens is 6'1", 244 pounds, ball with a full bid, last seen driving a white Ford Fusion. With temp right. tags. With temp tags. Do the right I, thing and turn yourself in, Steve Stevens. Or if you see this guy, call the police ASAP. He needs to be off the street today. Yeah, don't approach remember him. remember that he's armed, so don't try to be a hero and go and do anything. Call the police right away. And looking at his uh, guns online, he got about a couple of them. He got about four of them in the video that he's been, he was shooting at on the range. So I do just feel like careful. I do feel like guys like this should be wanted dead or alive, though. I agree with you. And I'm not saying go out there and play vigilante. I'm just saying if you happen to have the chopper on you and see him, you know, don't be afraid to let it go. He has no remorse for innocent people. And, he, and he knows, it's not like he's, he knows what he's doing. He's telling you, Mom, you did this, and because Mom, you did this, I'm just going to kill random on, people. Man. And I know it's some sucker-ish. Like, you know what Come you're on, doing. Man. Come on, man. He know exactly what he's doing. He's making all the choices. Poor choices. This upsets me. <laughs> this, like, really upsets me. Because all I can think about is my pops walking to the corner store on Riding Easter Sunday, business. maybe going to get some milk or something he left, and somebody comes up and is like, hey, you know this person? You shoot him? Minding his business, Doesn't man. Doesn't have a chance to defend himself. Just... You know what? I don't, I don't, uh... I well, because he's mad that his girlfriend broke up with him? Like, get out of here. Yeah, I don't condone suicide either, but I, d I do wish in situations like this, guys like... Steve Hurt yourself. Would just not not kill somebody himself. Else. Not innocent people. Yes. The Breakfast Club.